Has anybody seen this avatar before? Slightly creeped me out. It's not on the avatar list, and it's the only one that I've seen. Maybe a hack? Bugged account? What is this? Where did this avatar come from? So, off the top of my head, I remember back in, as far as 2019, right? I remember Chosen, uh, Incredible John, these guys had their own avatars, their own custom avatars, such as this one and this one, who, Dark Souls? But anyway, I think what had happened was they just never changed their avatar. And in the game, because I've seen this guy before, I've seen this guy, I've never seen this guy, Mono Kojo, but I have seen Riddick before um, during a few plat pushes. And I think it's pretty cool that he gets to keep his own custom avatar because like, I mean, hold on, let, let me, let me see this right now. Let me see if there's a content creator named Riddick on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Raid Shadow Legends Riddick. And this is what pops up. All right. Raid Shadow Legends Riddick. Game Leap shows up. Hell Hades. Bronco. And then, of course, Raid. But I'm not seeing any Riddick. Maybe it's... I've seen a name called Ridiculous Raid before. I don't know if that's it. Wukong! Dude, this was such a fucking awesome game, bro. I love the shit out of that game. Right now, I'm playing Warhammer. Anybody playing Warhammer? But yeah, that's what I'm assuming. But I don't know. Do you guys know? And if you do, let me know before I start going into the comments because uh, there's a few comments here and there's a few comments here. We'll make it a little game. I want to see if any of you guys know before we dive into the comments, how do people get these avatars? Who are these people? So if you know right now, don't cheat. But like, hey, before we dove into it, this is the answer. And I want to see who's been in raid for a really long time, enough to know who these people are and how they have these specific avatars. All right, you have five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So when the game was first released, there was some sort of promo event with lots of YouTubers. You could always battle a random team of the YouTuber. They would always be in your opponent list to differentiate them further. They added unique avatars for them Usually, or always, I'm not sure, it was their YouTube channel avatar. Edit. Seems like this guy stuck around in the game. Great info, thanks. Spanish YouTube. Oh, he's a Spanish YouTuber. Not an extremely active one. The last video was a week ago. And this was a post four years ago. Before that, it was two months ago. The avatar in his videos. Let me see. Mono Kojo. Buenas, familia. ¿Qué tal estáis? Canal dedicado principalmente a juegos de móvil. Raid Shadow Legends. X y Lacir Analysis Abrimos este. It seems like he was doing raid for quite some time. And then he kind of just stopped. So he was a content creator, is a content creator. Am I crazy or is that just a cropped and zoomed in picture of General Grievous? That's the one I thought of too. Yo, mate, I'm not a hacker. Oh, it's him himself. Yo, mate, I'm not a hacker. One year ago, Plarium did an arena event for YouTubers to give the Avatar YouTube channel in game. Whoa, hi mate, it's all good. Someone explained it, sorry. Really cool avatar though. Wow. General Kenobi, there you go. For a moment, I thought he was using the player form avatars from other games. When you pull a legendary, you should get that avatar. When you pull a duplicate, you should get a different border. That's actually a really good idea. I really like that. Imagine if we were able to just use the avatar of whatever champions that we have. That would be pretty cool. Like, oh, if I, I, I want the Sun, Sun Wukong avatar or i want the uh, georgian avatar in my pfp that would be pretty sick since we're talking avatars i wonder why the available options are so limited if we can't upload our own avatar and the reason probably that we can't <laughs> because you know how people are gonna be imagine if we could upload our own avatars <laughs> in raid shadow legends Half of them would be dick pics, dude. I'll be, I'm, I'm being honest because this is a male dominant game. You know, a lot of us are still kind of kids at heart, even though the, I think the demographic for this is mostly like uh, late 20s to, you know, late 20s and beyond. Uh, judging by the demographics on my YouTube analytics, most of you guys are around my age, 30s, mid 30s, uh, upwards of 40. But uh, very, very few people are like, 20 and below 
there's like a few of them, but but uh, hardly any. Uh, it's mostly, yeah, 30, 35 and up. So I'm assuming that's what it is. But imagine <laughs> all the dick pics that you would see in the profile pictures. Uh, we should at least choose from every character in the game. It wouldn't be too hard. Um, but that's that's probably why Polarium doesn't want you guys doing your own thing. He's a hacker. He stole my newbie and innocent heart with that sexy mustache. Modified my way. Definitely looks like General General Grievous. Level 100, he runs game all day, doesn't he? What do you expect from Whale? Nothing is possible for them. Level 100? Oh, I guess four years ago, level 100 was a was a new thing. Because for those of you who don't know, the level cap, the level cap for your for your account used to be 60, and that was it. It was just 60. It, was, it wasn't 100. They increased the cap later on, but yeah. So there you go. Uh, what's this one? Riddick. Does anybody have an answer? Dark Souls? Yeah, I saw that one. Uh, Ukrainian Raid Shadow Legends streamer on YouTube. Don't know how he got the personal avatar, but he is partnered with Polarium. Literally the Ferrum Knight from Dark Souls 2. Oh, is it? Yeah, I thought he looked like he looked like a Dark Souls character. At the beginning, raid could upload or uh, raid people could upload their own avatar. They never changed it since. Maybe this helps. If you guys know me. I'm pretty huge on avatars. Like I will do an entire event just to get an avatar. Like I go ham for these things. Um, this is my second account, by the way. I started after my main account. So there are some uh, past avatars that I just didn't get, like, um, you know, the, for the first battle seasons. Uh, I haven't pushed plat on this account yet. I don't think I want to or care, but like the plat avatars would be pretty cool. I have it on my main account. These ultra plat avatars are only given to, I think, uh somebody check for me i'll verify is it just the um the first place for plat arena i think it's the first or like somewhere between one and three um you have to you have to be first or third somewhere between first or third worldwide to get that uh, of course everybody's got live arena uh tag arena is pretty good doom tower everybody's got that um on my main i have the odin avatar these would be pretty cool to get but i mean they don't really look all too cool uh past promo avatars obviously pretty good i'd like to get sun wukong but also i don't want to fucking pay 15 dollars for it and then these are pretty cool too but um i think this one the the line is the coolest one but and then like we have the avatar that we get from curse city with carnage but I, I don't think it's better than this one are these new new champions that have yet to come to raid because looking here, I don't see any like reward thing or or anything. So the victory chests, you get the Authorix Lamasu. But after that, after Lamasu, maybe the other champions will be available. Does anybody know? Snap back, automatic reload. Flyer than a fucking beat You can't beat them.